Hey, Rob here, response review. I want to give a Christian minister's reaction and a review of Miley Cyrus' new video, Adore You. But before I do, in case you think I'm some old goat, some stuffed shirt that's unrelatable, unrelevant, this is what I look like when I was many, many of your age. But that wasn't me, that wasn't, that wasn't. That was me. I used in the 80s. I used to play guitar and, you know, a lot of hair bands, a lot of metal bands. So I'm no stranger to the music business. I mean, I was in a band from Holland. I was 16 years old, hanging out stage in Madison Square Garden in, in New York. And, you know, the reality, friends, is Miley Cyrus was raised as a Christian by her parents who were so-called Christians. And I didn't come on here to judge anybody. But the reality is, is... Does God condone or does he enjoy or like that type of behavior, that lewd sexual innuendo? And, you know, we a lot of young people do a lot of stuff sometimes that's out of character to get other people's attention. And, you know, Miley Cyrus is starving for attention, and that's why she does. It's not about really money. It's mostly about fame and attention, you know. She starves and craves that, and, you know, when we know that God accepts us, God loves us, we don't have to act crazy or out of character because we're comfortable with ourselves because we love ourselves. I mean, you know, the Bible is very clear. It says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You know, you'll never love your neighbor the way you're supposed to until you love yourself the way you're supposed to. And the Bible also says God accepts you in the beloved. You are accepted in the beloved. God cares for you. God's got a plan for you. God has a destiny. God has an inheritance and Really, the plan God has for everybody is desires to be in the center of our life, in the center of our heart. And the only way he can have that plan fulfilled is he has to have an invitation. God will never crash, knock, or blow the door down to your heart. God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will. So Miley Cyrus has a free will. We can all accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. Now, again, I don't know what the end of her life's going to be or where she's going spiritually. God can still touch her life. She can still come to Jesus. She can still come to the cross. It's never too late because God's a God of mercy, compassion, kindness. Most of all, he's a God of great love. And the Bible's very clear in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. It simply states, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son that if you would believe, receive Jesus Christ, friends, as your Lord and Savior, you would never perish. You'd have eternal life and desire to recite a simple prayer to me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Hey, desire to subscribe to my ministry video, uh, channel via YouTube. Go for it. Also under the search, Rob would want to have many other ministry videos where I do talk about the Bible, Christianity, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Give Christ a chance today. Be blessed.